Hi guys. <laughs> um, hey, I just wanted to make a video um, about some dreams that I've had uh, this last November. Really because I just, I want to be faithful to the Lord. Um, I feel like if he's giving me these and he's giving, you know, dreams and visions to other people as well, that um, it's important to share them and maybe there's somebody who needs to hear it. So, um, the first dream I had recently was Friday, November 13th, and um, just, it's about a tsunami, and just to back up a little bit, I've, over the course of my life, I've actually had reoccurring tsunami dreams, and I never knew what they meant, um, but typically in all my tsunami dreams, I'm trying to get to safety. I'm usually on the beach at first try and I can see that uh, the waves are huge and coming towards us or getting ready to come towards us I, I mean they're like reaching towards the sky so tall and um, and so usually in dreams I'm telling people warning people really saying very loudly you know we have to get to safety and a lot of times my sister's there my mom's there but there's other people there as well that I don't know and um, so this particular dream, it was really short, just this last November on the 13th, um, I was over on the coast and um, we were on the beach. I saw that uh, one was coming. The wave was really, really tall and it was going to be coming towards us. So I was warning everyone to get away. We ended up, I'm looking down at my notes, we ended up uh, running up some streets, paved streets. Um, and eventually got to a, like a beach house. It was two story. So it had an ocean view, but we, all we knew was it was just shelter. So we went there, we went upstairs to the top floor and, um, as, uh, we could see that the waves were going to come crashing in and all we could do was just brace ourselves, just hold on. And so in this dream, which is very similar to my other ones, we're just holding on as tight as we can. And as the waves would come and they would crash in, we would survive. Um, we would survive it um, and only that the waves would just, you know, go back out, the ocean would go back out and then it would, the waves would come back in. Um, so that was that dream. And I don't know how much time the data on my phone is going to give me for this video, but I want to go into this other one. And I'll be looking down at my notes because um, I, as I was reading this, I'm amazed that I, 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 I'm like, I had this dream. When I had this dream, uh, it was so crazy, just vivid and real to me. And this was the next night, November 14th, just this last November, 2015. Uh, but as I'm reading it, today I'm like wow I this is an amazing dream so okay I'm gonna just go ahead and read it from the notes so that it's gives you the correct details okay in my dream I was in an apartment complex um, in the apartment my sister and the kids were there with me I looked out the window and could see the moon it was red but only for a moment I looked again and it was black I told my sister to look and she did we were both in amazement. Then I saw three moons circle around and they were moving quickly. It was as if it was going in fast forward um, time speed, like a VCR, like a videotape would be fast forward. You could see it fast forwarding. We were in awe at what we were watching and then there was one big huge moon, regular colored, uh, but it was huge. It, uh, like it took up the whole sky. Then I looked and saw a piece of rock fall out of the sky, burning and fell onto the ground. It was small and it was like burning coal. I said, oh my goodness, to my sister, look. And then I saw more pieces of burning rock and coal fall out of the sky onto the street. Then all of a sudden I was in a restaurant with my kids but this was happening, the, while this was happening, the burning rock falling from the sky, or pieces like a meteor, maybe. And I just remember feeling like I needed to get my kids, husband and I, to safety. So we were putting them in the stroller and started to go home. 
on the way outside, the burning rocks and fire were now intensified and everywhere. It was hard to push the stroller um, as I was trying to avoid going over the flames. Somehow I was doing it, but it was different, and at one point I saw that I didn't have my, my uh, kids buckled in it correctly, and one of them was sliding out of it, so I had to stop and fix it. It was hard not to panic. I was trying to keep us all safe and go back and get my sister when I saw she said, she said, I have to go get my car keys. Um, so she seemed, but I remember my sister seemed really sleepy and out of it. Um, and it says, as did my kids. Seemed like I was the one that was really alert and they were all kind of sleepy and drowsy. Okay, then the dream ended. Um, I'll, I just, I don't know, uh, really what this means, except I believe in my heart that Jesus is coming um, we don't know the day or hour, but he said to, in his word to look up and that we would see signs in the heavens. And so, you know, in my dream, these are signs, um, in the heavens. And so I just believe he's coming back. And my prayer is that I'm ready. I know I'm born again and my name is written in the book of life. Um, but I don't want to take anything for granted. I just want to work out my salvation with fear and trembling and, and, um, just be looking and be expecting and waiting for him. And that is really why I wanted to share my videos with you is so that you're not caught off guard on the day that he comes, that you're ready and that you're counted among those who are expecting him. He's coming for a bride that's pure and spotless and you know, I'm, I'm not pure and spotless without the blood of Jesus and without repenting daily and just staying in his will. And, um, so I'm excited that Jesus is coming and it's going to be an amazing time. Um, so anyway, these are my dreams and, uh, I'm, I'm asking him for more. I didn't ask for these. These came, uh, unexpectedly, uh, but I wrote them down because in the past I haven't written my dreams down and I feel like I need to, especially since time is really running short. So anyways, I hope I see you soon with some more dreams or info. Okay, take care and have a great day. Bye.